Hello viewers, today I'm going to talk about conditional base maintenance. Without wasting the time, let's get into the slide. Conditional based maintenance is a set of maintenance action based on real time or near to real time assessment of acumen condition which is obtained from embedded sensors or external test and measurement taken by portable acumen. CBM or predictive maintenance is the means of improving productivity, product quality and overall effectiveness of man manufacturing and production plants. Besides that, it also optimizes the trade-off between maintenance cost and performance cost by increasing availability and reliability while eliminating unnecessary maintenance activities. It allows maintenance to be scheduled or other action to be taken to avoid the consequence of failure. Here are a few types of CBM. Vibration analysis, infrared thermography, ultrasonic analysis, electrical analysis, pressure analysis, and last but not least, oil analysis. Vibration analysis is defined as the process of process for measuring vibration level and frequency of machinery and using that information to analyze the health of machines and their components. Vibration analysis can help detect problems like imbalance, bearing failure, mechanical looseness, resistance, and bent shelf and more. Infrared thermography is a process of using a thermal imagery to detect radiation coming from an object, converting it to temperature and displaying an image of the temperature distribution in real time. Often utilized with the baseline image for comparison, infrared thermography images can clearly and easily show when an asset is becoming overheated. Infrared thermography is employed for monitoring the electrical and mechanical conditions of motors, inspecting bearing and examining refractory insulation as well as for checking gas liquids and salvage levels. Ultrasonic analysis is uses sound to identify potentially failing asset by detecting by detecting high frequency sounds and converting them into audio and digital data data collections method determine the types of detectable failure when it comes to ultrasonics ultrasonics contact method are also helpful for detecting electrical fault on motors as loosened or broken motor bars can generate a high frequency rhythmic pattern Electrical analysis is employed to examine the incoming power quality of assets using motor current readings for clamp on ammeters to measure the current in a circuit. This makes it easier for maintenance personnel to see when an asset is getting an abnormal amount of electricity. Pressure analysis maintaining the current pressure within a cumin to let fluid, gas, or air move through a pipeline or hydraulic hose probably in vital pressure analysis can continuously monitor pressure levels in real time and alert to sudden drops or spikes allowing maintenance personnel to respond to and fix issues before a more serious incidents occur oil get analysis is a routine activity for analyzing oil health contamination and machine wear an oil analysis program helps verify a lubricant machine in operating as it should. Oil analysis check the oil fluid proper properties answering questions like uh, the right advantage active oil analysis also looks to see whether there are destructive contaminants in the oil and if so helps narrow down the probable source. Here are a few steps to take in account before implementing CBM. There are altogether four steps involved in this implementation. First, ensure a solid foundation. CBM goes hand in hand with RCM because RCM helps you identify potential problem problems with your assets and determine what you should to do. Make sure those assets continue producing at maximum capacity Having a solid grasp of RCM processes help to focus your condition-based maintenance efforts where they need to be. In fact, reliability experts agree that one of the biggest issues 
that comes with adopting a condition-based maintenance program is the lack of understanding of RCM principles. The second step will be include affected personnel. Once you establish that all maintenance personnel have the necessary skills, include them in the criticality analysis. Incorporating their input makes them active participants and give them the opportunity to use their RCM fundamentals effectively while contributing to the conditional-based maintenance implementation. It also will help them to identify, mitigate and eliminate failure modes. The third step will be perform criticality analysis. As briefly mentioned earlier, a criticality assessment ensures your condition-based maintenance program is effective. Accurately identifying assets as critical, semi-critical, and non-critical can decrease unnecessary routine-based maintenance. In other words, maintenance personnel will know which assets are most critical and can perform checks on those assets first or more often than non-critical assets without making needless routes all over the plant. Criticality analysis also helps determine which asset will benefit most from condition-based monitoring techniques like remote vibration or, or circuit sensors that produce real-time data which can be analyzed from another. Last but not least, follow-up will be the last step. After you have finished your criticality assessment, it is a good idea to implement a failure report, analysis and corrective action system. To ensure your analysis was correct and the most critical assets are benefiting the most from your condition-based maintenance program. Here comes CBM implementation steps. Step 1. Map out your asset failure modes and baselines. Map out all the assets and possible failure modes to understand if each piece of equipment has the key in ingredients for CBM. The first key ingredient is a condition that can be monitored. Condition monitoring doesn't work for every asset, so knowing which ones don't support sensor or other monitoring tools and techniques can save you lots of time and money later. For the remaining assets, determine if the failure modes identified by condition monitoring can alert you a problem with enough time to fix it in a cost-effective way. Once you have your group of qualified assets, it's important to set baseline for normal operation. Baseline are established thresholds that indicate a healthy and fully functional system. Baselines can be established in many ways, from manufacturer recommendation to historical trends. Creating baseline for each system takes the guessing out of condition based maintenance and makes your decision much more efficient and effective. Step 2 is all about PF curve. Understand and use the potential failure curve. Talking about condition-based maintenance without the PF curve is liking, like talking about a car without wheels. It just doesn't work. The PF curve demonstrates the relationship between machine breakdown, cause, and how it can be prevented. It is based on the fact that a human might be in the earlier stage of failing even if it seems to be working fine. Along the x-axis of the curve is time. As you mentioned, through time, the machine moves from point of potential failure to the point of actual functional failure. As you move through time, there are also intents when fault can be detected before total failure. Along the y-axis is the machine condition. The machine progress from the top working condition to point of failure and then down from there until actual failure. The most important part of PF curve is the PF internal interval the pf interval is the time between an asset potential failure and its functional predicted failure step 3 is leverage maintenance technology condition based maintenance combines recommended guidelines with repair and performance data to determine what tasks need to be completed and how often when these parameters are decided in maintenance software that can be used to help you get a jump on everything from logging sensor data to triggering work orders and scheduling maintenance. Integrating sensors data with maintenance software such as a CMMS can help reliability engineers, maintenance managers and technicians capture, organize and analyze information much easier, quicker and more accurate. The last step is create a solid training program for staff. While condition-based maintenance relies heavily on technology and automated systems like sensor and software, there will always be a human 
element involved for your CBM strategy to be as efficient and effective as possible. It's vital that all members of the maintenance team are properly trained on the concept of CBM, its benefit and how to use the system. This is this will will increase by in eliminate, eliminate user error and increase reliability throughout the process. Here are a few reasons why a lot of companies choose a CBM across other maintenance strategies. CBM is performed while the asset is working, which lessens the chances of disruption to normal operation, reduce the cost of asset failures, improve accumulated reliability, minimize unscheduled downtime due to catastrophic failure, minimize time spent on maintenance, minimize overtime caused by scheduling the activities, minimize requir requirement for emergency spare improves worker safety, reduce the chances of colorated damage to the system, optimize maintenance interval. Here are a few challenges of CBM. Conditional base maintenance require an investment in measuring equipment and staff, staff upskilling so in the initial cost of implementation can be high. CBM introduces new maintenance techniques which can be difficult to implement due to resistance within an organization. Other acumen can be difficult to retrofit with sensors and monitoring acumen or can be difficult to assess during production to spot measure. With CBM in place, it, it still requires competence to turn performance information from a system into actionable proactive maintenance items. Here we come to the end of the slide. Condition-based maintenance may seem too expensive for little benefit. However, in any organization with critical acumen, a CBM system can prove its worth twice more when it comes to reducing or even eliminating unscheduled downtime. That's all for today. Thank you.